So the two main reasons why women have double standards may surprise you. And the truth is that double standards exist for both men and women, and not all double standards are necessarily bad. And of course, you naturally notice the double standards that negatively impact you versus the ones that benefit you. Welcome to Just the Tip. So why do women have double standards that are so hypocritical? Let's get right into it. Number one, women have double standards because women encourage double standards for women only. Modern feminists say they're fighting for equality when really they're only fighting for equality where it benefits them. And most of the time, they're actually fighting for equity. They want the same pay as you do, but they don't wanna to have to put in the same hours. They want the same pay as you do, but they don't wanna to have to do the dangerous jobs you do. Social justice warriors get on board and social media brainwashing ensues. And frilly pink marketing, hypocritical in itself, targets the susceptible offering community. As a result, many men have bowed out of dating modern women entirely and are forced to form their own men's only communities. Unfortunately, without masculine and feminine balance, both communities become highly biased against each other and it's a lose-lose for everyone. So yeah, women encourage double standards for women only. And this leads us to the second surprising reason why women have double standards, and that is because men allow it. Men allow double standards for women. Now, I know that's not necessarily the answer you wanna hear, but it's the truth, and the truth can empower you because you teach people how to treat you. If you allow bad behavior, you will get more of it. And if you reward bad behavior, you'll get way more of it. The interesting part is when you don't allow bad behavior, you automatically weed out the throwbacks and you get more respect from the true keepers. Now, to be fair, you have some double standards that benefit you as a man. So what are some common double standards that benefit men? And what are the double standards that women tend to get away with that frustrate you? Now, as I mentioned earlier, not all double standards are bad. Some of these double standards exist for a reason and I agree with the reasons. Sugar daddy versus cougar. So you know that an older wealthy man is admired for being with a younger attractive woman. But when it's the reverse, when it's an older woman, maybe wealthy, maybe not, with a younger man, it's not quite the same admiration for men or for women looking at that couple. The only time you'll be judged as a man for being with a younger woman is by jealous women or possibly jealous men. And the truth is, most men don't want a much older woman, even if she is rich. That's just a double standard that exists in our community. Another one that benefits you as a man, stud versus slut. So if she's visited Hoville for any length of time, she's an S-L-U-T. But if you have, you're a stud. And that's in the eyes of both men and women. Few men want to settle down with a woman who's seen more pipe than Seattle slew. And when you do find a keeper you want to settle down with and maybe have a family with, there's the double standard of mother versus father. So even in today's age, it's still a woman who's expected, a mother who's expected to pick up that crying child first. If the father does it, guaranteed men and especially women are actually judging her for not doing it. And yes, times are changing, but this double standard still does exist. Now, what about double standards that women have that are hypocritical, that don't work in your favor? Sometimes it revolves around money. Maybe she's making bank, but you're still expected to pick up the tab on everything. Or maybe she's making a lot of money, but she still expects to be with a guy who's making even more money than her. Whereas other way around, most men don't care if a woman is making more money than them. In fact, a lot of men prefer if she's not making more money than them, as long as she's making enough and she's contributing. Or it could be with socializing. She's allowed to go out with her friends and never text you or check in. But if you go out, you have to check in or you have to take her with you. Or she can ignore your texts for days, but you have to reply back stat. When she gets upset and raises her voice, it's because you upset her. But when you raise your voice, even a fraction of a bit, it's emotional abuse.
Thank you.